Twilight Golfer. On Twilight Golfer, Grant. The Twilight Golfer himself, you better believe it, at your boy. Well, we're here at Running Deer. Of course, that I'm just really glad to get out and finally play. So let's go through each one of the holes here at this course that almost feels like a private golf course in comparison to almost a Galloway National. Walking into it, I loved it. You're not going to need a tee time here, but I recommend getting one in advance. It's about $125 to play it. course is in incredible shape. It plays long over 7,000 yards. And just off the bat, we're going to walk through each one of these holes, give you some of the best conditions, some of the better footage out there of an independent golf channel. So don't run away. So stick around as we continue to go through a course with the back tees here stretching over 7,000 and 140 yards. Well, here at Twilight yards. Golfer, we do play from those back tees. Sometimes we belong back there if the driver's on, but for the most part, it's to get the money's worth out of the golf course. Now, there's no one behind us, so you know we're respecting the course and the rules of the game. Built in 2000 and designed by golf architect Edwin Cardman. Of course, it's another Ron Jaworski course. I can tell you right off the bat, you might get your money's worth here. Some nice tee boxes. I think five total. But if you're looking for a challenge, this is the course in South Jersey for you. It is a no joke 7,200 yard course. It feels private, but for I think a hundred and something bucks. Another time Ron Jaworski really steps it up. There you go, Philadelphia champs, you like that. Not often you find a public golf course that's just gonna knock your socks off for a good deal. Everything about this course is the reason you get into golf. It's located in the Pine Barrens, and I tell you what, it just seems like one of those hidden gems outside of Atlantic City in between Atlantic City and Philadelphia. Grab yourself a pretzel, a hoagie, and sit back, relax, and enjoy this course that's somewhat of a magical gem. To understand this course, you have to really go back to the designer, who is the owner of the golf course at the time of being built. Ed Carbman was a member of the PGA in the early 1950s and was the first head pro at Buena Vista Country Club. He's always dreamt of having his own golf course. And with the help of his family, his dreams came to reality. Certainly not well known like a Robert Trent Jones or a Donald Ross, Carmen designed only two golf courses in his life. Centerton Golf Club, we're down the street, and Running Deer. Both of them kind of mimic a, uh, a bigger brother and younger brother system. Uh, one's a lot better, this one, and I don't think you're going to like the other one. If you're on the fence about this one, but I swear they're they're re really right next to each other. They don't feel like they're next to each other. When I played the first one, I had no idea this course was right next to it. And for $125, I wasn't in a big rush to play it. But ever since 2008, so shortly after, the sale of the club took place to NFL quarterback and golf ball golf course collector Ron Jaworski. And ever since playing Riverwinds, and Blue Heron, again, I tell you what, I love what he's doing to the game and what he's also bringing to the youth in regards to great deals, 18 and under. You got to love that. $5 deals to play, of oh, course, to walk it. You don't see that often. Bring your scorecard out here because you really got to place your shots I don't think you need driver here. upon your drives. You can get a You don't even need drives on some of them. You can blast a 2-iron and get something out 250, 240. You can't go over because you'll find yourself in a lot of these fairway bunkers spreaded throughout. The design of the course is remarkable. Someone just picking up a course and saying, hey, let's go build it. Uh, wow, I'm very impressed. Now, this is a unique box here. So you got that tee box right over there. And really, this swamp here. Probably the nicest par three on the course so far here at Running Deer. About a 160 yard poke. You gotta get all of it here. It becomes a battle between you and the golf course out here without giving out too many strokes on Second some of these holes. Par three on this golf course, and so far, I think the best. And really, those par threes.
we're legit. The tea boxes, you know, we don't hide on this channel. Everything's true to it. When you have aggressive tea boxes like this, it's going to get patchy. It's hard to keep up with it. You can't have everyone out there helping. Uh, but, man, what a battle out there between you and the golf course. And, again, with its history and learning just about it, you know, looking back, man, I tell you what, anyone going out here and playing the course, really prepare yourself to, you know, to really challenge your golf game. Um, supposedly, people have quit this golf course. Some of the ratings online are, are so low that it doesn't even make sense. My theory is with that, it just doesn't get as much play. It's a big members course. Sometimes the members just don't want people out there. Another time, Ron Jaworski really steps it up. There you go, Philadelphia champs, you like that. I bet the Philadelphia players will play here all the time because it feels like one of those courses you might run into one of them out here. Uh, you know, it does get a little busy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it does, you know, on a, this was a Saturday after, or Sunday afternoon. Saturdays gets booked. Uh, but they're transparent. After 3 o'clock, the course is yours for the most part. Uh, you see some, you know, local uh, people that work there getting around in, in front of you and things like that. That's fun. Uh, but, you know, in a good in a good way. I, there's nothing wrong with that. There's just a lot of activity at this golf course. And it's one of those ones where it's so spread out. You can kind of do whatever you want. You don't know what's going on in some of the holes. People jumping you. And uh, I think it could be members, too. Who knows? But, man, I, I really felt like this was one of those golf experiences that we always look for. And if you're on the fence about this course, you just haven't thought about playing it. Or maybe you're going to get married here one day. This might be the course for you going out and bringing your buddies. Because holy macaroni, I, it is one of the more challenging ones out there. Again, comparison to a Galley National. Putting surfaces weren't the best again. Uh, you had to slam the ball. You really got to put it hard. It's hard to keep up with some of those. It didn't roll like a private golf course. Uh, but some of these holes like this one right here, uh, number 10, a staple with, I mean, just this is incredible. It's just an absolute incredible golf course. The footage almost doesn't give it justice unless in certain camera uh, lighting situations like this one right here. You can see the backdrop is insane. But again, you got to slam the ball here. You can give it away. Left the eight. Too many short. And the back tees are so long, I had no business to go in back there. You know, there's there's seven seven there's seven thousand two hundred yards. Get some some sort of event happening this this couple couple weeks coming up. So uh, they were further than normal. So I kind of found myself jumping around depending on the lighting situation to get some better footage. The low golf now and golf pass rating it, it makes up for its Google rating, still having about four hundred. Uh, for views and it's a 4.7 so just a is this the nicest one. public golf hole in new jersey well here at running deer a public jaworski course we're gonna look at all those holes and we really did we tried to sneak as many golf holes as we can in with the footage but again some of them just you know with the shadow and just playing at the twilight rate we really kind of stuck ourselves here uh and again we're trying to get that better rate we paid 80 dollars to sneak out here and play ended up getting a member rate i don't know we talked the guy through it and uh Sometimes it's just getting the better deals out there. It's all about luck. But this course has been requested by multiple Twilight golfers. As yourself watching, uh, we're just trying our best to play golf and swing through. And and you know we're playing mulligans. We're, you know this this is a real channel. You know we're not out here doing the. You know we don't, we all got real jobs. You know we're doing the best we can. But for the most part, get out here, play this course if you're on the fence. If you know anyone, you know, trying to play other private golf courses in the area, let us know. We're going to try to get some footage of those. We're independent golf channel. As the channel continues to grow and we run out of golf courses, uh, we'll be looking back and wondering why we didn't ask. Well, for the most part, let's give this one a 1 out of a 10. Uh, I don't know what the rating would be. I think it's in the 8s. I think an 8-5 is as solid as it gets. Now, you got to remember, it's not a private course. The putting surfaces took away from that, but... They're, they're still nice. I mean, I there's no excuse. I, there's some opportunities to really roll at it. You just got to hit it hard. Uh, you need driver on most of these holes. You don't need a, to, to hit iron. But you got to think about that second shot because if you spray that driver, you're going to find yourself in a lot of trouble. And that's one thing uh, we did do ourselves uh, an injustice for. You got those trees sneaking out on some of the holes, which may give it a lot of bit of character, kind of like a Galloway National. Number 18 finishes strong, so we got to throw it out there uh, and hopefully hit it nice and smooth. 
if you made it this far please subscribe down below let us know if you're trying to play golf in the area if there's courses that you're looking to play and we haven't played yet right down in the comment section we're going to get out there we've got a few other on our list and we're, we're, we're listening. We're out here. We're playing those courses that were recommended and followed by you guys. And most importantly, keep playing golf if you're not watching. This is Twilight Golfer. Go, fly. Launch control. This is Houston. We are go for launch.